subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss another video of Bhakti Charu Swami. Let Jagannath Swami, Lord Jagannath, Nayana Pathagami. Nayana means eyes. Path means pathway. Down. Let Lord Jagannath, as if my eyes, vision of my eyes is a pathway. So let Lord Jagannath appear. Meaning, so that I can see Lord. Can you see Lord Jagannath like that with his mundane eyes? No. Although the Lord appeared on the altar, although tomorrow we are going to celebrate his Rati Jatsa festival, but Lord Jagannath cannot be perceived with our material eyes. He has to be seen with the eyes anointed with love. Preman Janat Churita Bhakti below When the eyes become anointed with the mascara of Krishna Prem, then we can see him in the core of our hearts. So Jagannath has appeared, but we have to see him with all with love, with our eyes full of love. Then we'll be able to see him in the core of our hearts. Santa Sadaiva, Sadaiva, constantly, all the time. Ridayeshu Bilokayanti can see him. So the Lord manifested Himself apparently in wood, but that is due to His mercy, so that we could see Him. He appears in stone, He appears in clay, He appears in metal. So He appears in those medium through those media so that we could see him just imagine if the lord didn't manifest himself in the form in the form of wood or stone or metal or clay could we see him could we get to know what his form is like no. so this is how we have to recognize that this is due to his causeless mercy. He is allowing us to see him. We should not think that he is wood or metal or stone. We should recognize that he, this is his archa vigraha vigraha, satchidananda vigraha, ishwaraha paramakrishna. Satchidananda Vigraha. Vigraha means his transcendental form. This form may appear to our, to our eyes in the form of wood, but this is not wood. It's he himself. He is Satchidananda, transcendental. He is Sat. His form is made of three things, three spiritual things. Sat, Chit, Ananda. His personification of eternity, full of knowledge, full of this, chief consciousness, ananda. These three are all spiritual elements, you can say. Spiritual, they are three spiritual substance. These three things are not available here in the material nature. Is anything in this material nature Sat, uh, eternal, 
anything is eternal in the tree of which you know? Is anything fully conscious? The consciousness is coming because the soul is here. So, so we are experiencing some consciousness through the medium of his body. But that is because of the presence of the soul. The body is not conscious. No material thing is conscious. Is there anything material that is conscious? Any matter is conscious? No. Is any matter joyful? No. So these three things are not material. Sat, Chit, Ananda. These, are, these three are spiritual substance. And the Lord's form is made of Satchidana. We, in our spiritual identity, we are also Satchidana. Because the spirit soul is not a product of this matter, of this material world. Spirit soul came from Atma, came from spiritual world. So in his constitutional position, the soul, the Atma, is also Satchidana. But by coming in contact with the material nature and allowing our consciousness to flow through this material body, we lost our Satchidana aspect. But we are trying to make this body Satchidana. We are trying to make this body conscious. We are trying to make this body joyful. But can you ever make this body eternal? Can you make this body full of consciousness or full of knowledge? Can you make this body full of joy? No. Therefore, you should give up this endeavor to try to make this body Satchidana. Rather become situated in a Satchidana the situation where you are originally in your spiritual identity. And that is the objective of pursuing the spiritual goal. That the purpose of spiritual practice is simply whatever you are doing here is simply to become situated in our spiritual identity. We are chanting, we are worshipping, we are glorifying the Lord in Kirtan. All that we are doing is simply for becoming situated in our spiritual identity. When you come to a temple and see the Lord, you must recognize that here is the personality who is eternal. He is in the spiritual world. I am seeing him here, but actually he is a fully spiritual personality. This personality has created everything. Here is the personality in the altar who is, who, who is the supreme creator, who created everything. Who is maintaining everything. So that is how we have to see them. And yesterday someone asked, how do I make out whether I am making any advancement spiritually? And my answer was, not yesterday, day before yesterday. In Gurgaon, Delhi. Somebody asked, how do I? And my answer was, you have to see how much love you have developed for Krishna. That is a sign of spiritual advancement. How much love I develop for Krishna. We can consider that someone we love, is my love for Krishna that much? Am I loving my uh, dear ones, more than Krishna? Uh, do I have any love for Krishna? And often time, often time we'll get the answer, no, I haven't developed any love for Krishna. But I'm practicing. Uh, this practice is good. Through this practice, through hearing and chanting, this is the first consideration. Hearing. Hear what? About Krishna's quality. By hearing we develop our love for Krishna. Like Rukmini Devi, she never seen Krishna. She just heard 
Narad Muni speaking to her father about Krishna. Oh, this person is like this, this person is like that. Just by hearing about Krishna, she, she fell in love with Krishna. So much so that when her brother Rukmi was trying to make arrangements for her marriage to Shishupal, was a very powerful person, very exalted person. According to their calculation, he was a very, very exalted person. He was coming from a very exalted family. He was a very powerful king. He had so many alliances. All these big, big kings were his supporter. On the other hand, according to their calculation, who is Krishna? Nobody even knows whether he is a Kshatriya or a Vaishya. They even suspected his birth. His father is fair, his mother is fair, then how come he is dark? So, asperging some doubts about his birth. And then he grew up in a village. What he was doing from morning to night, he was just tending cows. No uh, aristocratic education, uh, just a cowherd boy, a village boy. So from material cultivation, Shishupal was a very exalted person and Krishna was not that uh, deserving a candidate. But did Rukmini think of Krishna's birth and other material calculation? No. She heard simply Krishna's qualities. And how wonderful Krishna is. When you're seven years, seven days old, he killed a Putana, a terrible demoness. He lifted Govardhan hill, one hill. He lifted. That also with his little finger of his left hand and kept it holding for seven days. A seven-year-old boy did that. And what to speak of his beauty? All his activities and all his beauty, all his qualities were so, are so attractive that Rukmini fell in love with him. And she felt, if I at all, if at all I have to marry somebody, then let be, let it be this person. And her brother was adamant. Her father wanted her to marry Krishna. But her brother was demoniac. So he wanted that she should marry Shishupal. And Shishupal was actually uh, the hero of the demons. Great demon. The demons worship demons. And the devotees worship Krishna. So this is the di dividing factor. And she, she fell in love with Krishna in so much that she felt that either Krishna or no one. And she wrote that to Krishna. Please come and claim me. I am yours. Krishna also responded. And uh, all these kings with their millions of soldiers but Krishna came, kidnapped Rukmini. That's Krishna again. <laughs> Just like a lion picks his claim from a, from the middle of the donkeys and jackals, uh, and as a lion he claimed. And he, there were. Uh, Eleven Akshohini soldiers assembled there. All these big, big kings were there. Jarasandha, Shishupal, Dantavakra. Even Durjodhana and his allies were there. Defeated all of them. So this is how one falls in love with Krishna. 
Therefore, hearing is so important. Hearing what? Krishna's activities, Krishna's qualities, Krishna's beauty. Don't hear all mundane things. Whether this person will win the election or that person will be yeah, the king or uh, who will win the cricket match. Uh, don't waste your time in all these useless talks. If you at all you have to hear something, hear about Krishna's pastime, Krishna's qualities. They are so beautiful. And then what will happen? You'll naturally develop your attachment to Krishna. Hare Krishna, all the best. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Gaur Premanande.